What's up guys, Philip with Trade Genius. Real quick before I get into today's uh, Bitcoin update video, I wanted to remind you guys that on our signal service, we have a service now that's going to tell you when these daily signals fire. Uh, as you can see on Bitcoin, it does a great job. If you're looking to swing position uh, Bitcoin, a uh, great job at telling you when to get long and when to get out or get short. And if you're international, you know, you can go to those sites, uh, you know, Bitfinex, OKX, uh, things like that, um, BitMEX to short. Uh, you can also in the U.S., you can uh, trade Binance or Bitrix has an inverted pair. So you could get long those inverted pairs, TUSD, BTC, and that actually goes up in value when BTC goes down. So you can swing back and forth from BTC to TUSD um, or like I said, if you're international, you can go short, but it'll signal out when these fire. It'll let you know when these fire. It'll send you an email, you get it on your phone, and let you know that, hey, it's, you know, market signal now is short. As you can see here, uh, fired short and since has, you know, had a nice move down. Uh, it will turn up and signal long, but uh, you don't have to sit in front of your screens waiting for this. It also works on different time frames. We have about 45 different cryptos that this works on. So uh, go over to TradeGeniusAcademy.com. Spring special. This is for a year, guys. Well worth the money. You'll make it back. Uh, just on that daily signal alone, uh, you'll make it back many times over. $3.99 for the year. That's never going to be bundled like that together. And that comes with our uh, chat rooms for crypto. So... Let's get into today's video. Trade genius. All right, on this video, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin uh, since we covered it last week. We're looking at the daily chart here, and we've come down and broken through this pennant, uh, and that's when we started to see some uptick in volume. Uh, really coinciding with this break and subsequent move below 7,000. Uh, we saw we had dribbling volume uh, down on average, and then it bumped up on this down move and uh, has tapered off a bit back to these levels. So what we've got here is basically a pennant formation. And we're going to dig into that a little closer on the four hour. But the problem with that pennant formation is that uh, it was set up, and we'll go to a smaller time frame. You notice here it broke the trend line on that. Um, and that's kind of, you know, you don't really want to see that uh, when you have the pennant. Uh, that, to me, is uh, more bearish than bullish. What would change my tune on that? And right now, you know, you're kind of neutral here, right? Because you're just, you're still consolidating in this area. Um, kind of hinting toward possible break lower, but it could, uh, in fact, break this upper trend line a bit and get back to more of a bullish tone. But again, uh, until there's a there's a more of a decisive move in either direction, it's hard to it's hard to commit one way or the other. Prices really in this situation is really in limbo. You're better off waiting for a move in either direction and then taking a position at that point. Because uh, this, I mean, it, it's really 50-50 in my opinion from here, breaking up or down. Uh, we'll take a look at a little bit um, more macro picture uh, that I'm going to show you where I think we're probably really close to a local bottom, uh, which which basically means a short-term bottom, and then where we're going to bounce. So that's kind of the battle here. Um, Mondays, usually we get some kind of move, and it's just been really quiet. So again we had a nice bump up in volume and then uh, now it's starting to taper off here on the four hour on the hourly uh, you know we're just right in the middle of our linear regression channel and just really small bars things are getting really tight what we didn't see or haven't seen in a bit are these um what we call bart moves right because they look like bart simpson's head and we were getting uh, quite a bit of those and that's kind of subsided here. And typically those types of behaviors do subside. Uh, things uh, that seem to be a pattern or a cycle tend to tend to come in and out of season. And so we really haven't seen uh, that type of move. You know, you either have a big bar up and then consolidate and then another big bar down or vice versa. 
Um, and so it's been pretty quiet on that front. So uh, just a lot of just really consolidating here, guys. And so we just need to see a move up or down to tell us how to play that. You know, because we will go long or short. It just really depends on the, you know, what the what the technicals are telling us. So uh, best sometimes just to stand down, sit on your hands and wait. Uh, again, this is for swing trading, not longer term um, accumulation for the larger macro bull move up. So let's look at the bigger picture. Uh, basically what we have here is our oscillator I showed you guys in the last video. Now if you notice, uh, and we're going to look at Bitstamp because it goes back a bit farther on trading view. So we're back to 2012. But if you notice, every time I've highlighted this uh, 40 level on this oscillator, when it touches, that's usually marking an area where you're going to have a low put in. It never usually spends a bunch of time once it gets down to these levels, and they usually a low is very nearby when it does. Uh, the only exception since 2012 was this area here in 2014 in August where it spent about two months in this oversold condition, but in reality, price consolidated, and there wasn't a lot of movement in here. So it was, it, again, it, it was close to a bottom, just stayed there for a while before actually making an, a move up out of that consolidation area. So you can... So you can see here that we've got uh, another another uh, episode where we're dipping down in there. And if you notice the uh, last couple of lows coincided with this with this level uh, on this oscillator. So that's what I'm looking at. I think we are heading toward, you know, near a low. Um, uh, near a low. So we're looking uh, basically hopefully if this price action continues to consolidate and doesn't have another big move down we will get a buy signal and those will typically give us a boost and then that's going to take us the first target will be the underside of this pendant that was broken so we're going to be looking at this 7200 area 7100 to 7200 area it really depends because this is this uh, trend line is moving up so it depends when we actually fi uh, get there but um, that move up will tag or get very close to tagging the other side of this pennant that almost always happens without fail when you fall out of a, a pattern like that so that's going to be kind of what we're looking at a uh, bigger picture but shorter term uh we could go either way here we could start this move here or we could look to test this prior low at 60 about 61 30 level or make a new low so if we see a move down that's probably going to be a all clear to short until we get down to these levels but we're not you know we're, we're going to be pretty defensive either way we'll be moving stops up uh pretty quickly now this is for swing training bitcoin most of the crypto market is basically handcuffed to this right now uh, with the exception of say uh, binance token bnb which we did a video on a couple months ago if you recall and uh, that uh, if you'd taken that that would have uh, been a nice gainer for you we've since taken profits it's i i do think that that's a bit overbought here and but that would be a great one to buy on a pullback uh, as far as uh, everything else though that's pretty handcuffed to what what Bitcoin's doing right now so market cap overall is declining um, and we need to see until we really start to see that change and we'll cover that <clears throat> if we start seeing a, a change in the uh, trend line on the market cap breaking up then I think that's going to be a big signal for a sustained move higher for a bit so all right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Please uh, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on tomorrow's video. Thanks. Bye. Trade Genius.